In this video, we're going to jump into Luke chapter 9 as we discover the true cost of discipleship and what it means to truly follow Jesus. Hey, I'm Juliana Lane, and I'm a singer, songwriter, and full-time content creator. If this is your first time here today, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to catch more covers, original songs, and creative inspo to help you find your voice. Let's dive in. But first, those were the words that jumped off the page of me as I read from a Bible passage in Luke chapter 9. It tells us the story of Jesus calling out to some men, instructing them to follow him. Each one, when asked to follow Jesus, had a similar response. But first. They would follow Christ, but only after they attended to whatever they deemed to be more important at the moment. Check out this passage. It's from Luke 9, 57 to 62. As they were walking along the road, a man said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have dens and birds have nests, but the Son of God has no place to lay his head. He said to another man, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus replied, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. Those are some pretty powerful words. The thing is, God desires our total dedication. He wants every piece of our hearts, not just the leftover fragments that we choose to give Him. Here are three key takeaways. Number one, following Jesus comes with a cost. Are you ready and willing to pay it? While the cost of following Christ is high, the cost of not following Him is even greater. Number two, there will come a time when God calls you to do something. Will your first response be a but first excuse? Or will you drop everything to serve Christ in the way He has asked of you? Number three, are you willing to abandon everything for the sake of following Jesus? If anything gets in the way of us following Jesus or has become more important to us than our Savior, it has become an idol and it must be removed. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, make sure to reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram at Juliana Lane Music, and we can chat about it. And go ahead and comment below if you want to see more devotionals just like this one. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching that video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out that link in the description below to grab a free copy of one of my songs. Plus, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can catch more videos just like this one every single week.